now, Windows is one of the most reliable and widely spread operating systems in existence, so it makes sense that eventually I'd get around to making a Windows Iceberg video. Thank you to the poster of this iceberg chart, who will be on screen now, for making this so I could shamelessly use it to grow my channel. Now, without further ado, let's just get into this. Now, the blue screen of death is something that has plagued everyone and is caused by a number of things that inevitably makes your computer feel that it can no longer continue to operate safely. And then it goes ahead and restarts things, reconfigures some stuff so that way it can keep on going. And it's also been in Windows since Windows 1.0, so this thing has been here forever. Windows Insider Program is a program that allows anyone with a valid Windows 10 license, or any other Windows license I presume in the past going on to the future, to get early access to future updates, basically working as the beta test. Windows 10 on Xbox. Now thank you Flymonkey102 Xbox Ambassador on the official answers.minecraft.com website for answering this question for me. Uh, your Xbox runs a version of Windows 10, which is wild, wacky, and fucking weird. But no, you can't put default Windows on your Xbox, so you're just stuck with Vibio game Windows 10. Windows 11 requirements controversy. Now, Windows 11 is rolling around because Microsoft fucking lied to you when they said Windows 10 was the final Windows, and they've decided to make a new one. And with that comes new shit to be flung because they are requiring that systems have a trusted chip 2.0. Let me check the name of that again. What the fuck? After that small brain fart, Windows is now requiring that systems have a trusted platform module 2.0 chip in their systems before you can upgrade, which is a massive problem because most computers don't have this shit. With that, the top level is out of the way, so you are here. Now this stuff is all pretty much still the same. Uh, you should know it if you breathe around a computer, but some of this stuff might be new to you. Windows 11 Leaks Now, the entirety of the Windows 11 operating system was leaked before it was supposed to come out. Oh well, that's how it goes on the internet. Thank you, Fortune. Windows Server now, the Windows Server is a service provided to businesses that offers cloud data storage. And that's about that, just as boring as it fucking sounds. Xbox OS is Windows-based. Uh, we kind of already knew this. This was discussed in the previous tier. I don't really know why the creator was like, let's put this on here twice, but whatever. Windows 10 runs on anything. Apple OS is mediocre. Linux is a fucking brain seizure to figure out. Chrome OS makes me want to kill myself. Windows seems to really be the only place that can be used consistently and reliably unless you're some sort of fucking tech wizard. So understandably, we put that shit on everything. Get out of here, Frank's Red Hot. I'm putting Windows 10 on my hamburger. Now, as much as I may have beef with Microsoft, Windows is a reliable operating system, so understandably, we use it a lot. Original Windows Logo Now, what I have on screen, and for some reason it's too big to actually fit on the screen, is the original Microsoft Windows Logo. Uh, you thought the oversimplification trend of the 2020s was bad, I guess 1992 had something far worse in store. Windows Mobile was a mobile operating system from 2000 to 2010, and is first in one of many 
desperate attempts by Microsoft to break into the shit that you can hold in your pocket, that has inevitably failed because iOS and Android will always curb stomp that shit back to the sad little dumpster it crawled out of. Windows FLP Windows for legacy PCs is a thin client operating system based off of Windows XP, meant for those older computers that are sacks of shit and can't quite handle newer Windows updates. Delete System 32 Delete System 32 is another thing that we get to thank 4chan for. It's a joke because System 32 is full of everything your computer needs to run. And by telling people who are not so good with computers to delete it, you make them fucking obliterate their PC, requiring them to either get that file reinstalled by a professional, or buy a new computer. Pirated Windows Now, piracy is arguably one of the coolest things you can do when it comes to large corporations and people with millions if not billions of dollars. So it understandably came time for Microsoft to serve up to the piracy table. And eat the pirates did, because it is very easy to find pirated Windows operating systems. Should you download these? Probably fucking not. But they're out there. And with that, we are on to level 3. Now this stuff, not everyone is going to know, but it's still pretty common knowledge. Windows Whistler was a pre-release version of Windows XP, and this is the logo. We're gonna do a two-for-one deal here. We've got Windows for Legacy PCs too. Uh, everything I tried to look up for that only gave me floppy disk recommendations to buy, so I didn't really find much, but I'm just gonna assume it's like Windows for Legacy PCs, but better. And we also have PreVista, now, everything before Windows Vista is what this means. I don't really know why it's so low on the iceberg chart, but it also makes sense, because a lot of young people aren't really going to know what came before Windows 7. Windows Vista Flop Now, on the road to greatness, you're always going to release a few stinkers. See 90% of my videos for reference of this. Now, Windows Vista failed. According to ZDNet article, Top 5 Reasons Why Windows Vista Failed, by Jason Heiner in Jesus Fucking Christ 2008. This thing is ancient, holy fuck. It was because of a successful advertising campaign by Apple, and also the fact that basically every single other fucking computer was offering Windows XP. So they just sort of killed this shit off and moved on. Windows CE. Now, for whatever reason, Windows CE is actually Windows Embedded Compact, a Windows operating system made to run on the smallest of shit with no drive and basically no memory, which is interesting. And it's still in use today, which is also weird, but whatever. CSRSS.exe. Now, this file is a file that some people seem to think is a Trojan horse. It's not. It's the Client Server Runtime Subsystem, according to Wikipedia, and it is supposed to be there because it's in the Windows Operating System's files. Don't delete that shit. Windows Longhorn Development Reset now, Longhorn is the term that Windows Vista had while it was in dev. The problem was is that it took five and a half years in development hell, and a few years in was just straight reset, because they didn't like how it was coming out and there were problems internally. Who would have ever thought that the operating system stuck in development hell for multiple years would turn out to be one of the worst? Wow, surprising. Windows Millennium Edition was an operating system released at the turn of the millennium, meant to be an upgrade, but it was a massive, fat, stinky flop, and Windows kind of brushed it under the table. Easter eggs. 
Now, Easter eggs and Microsoft products used to be a thing back when Microsoft was cool. So, in all of the early editions of things, you could find stuff like a Doom knockoff, Hidden Flight Simulator, Pinball Game, Magic 8-Ball Toy. I uh, kind of stopped as time went on, which sucks, but they are a nice little thing to look around and find in your computer if you happen to have a dinosaur in your grandma's attic. At this point, you have to know how a fucking iceberg chart works, so I'm not going to explain it to you. Uh, everything lower than here is going to be very weird and hard to find, and it's also going to take me a while to dig up, and by a while, I mean 30 seconds on a Wikipedia page. Tally-ho to level 4. Alright, for our first entry, we're going to have a two-for-one here. Unleaked dev builds. Now, unleaked development builds of Windows operating systems will literally never be seen by 90% of us unless you get a job at Microsoft and then break into the fucking archives. Why? Because they're unleaked. And Windows 9. Windows 9 doesn't fucking exist. It was cancelled. DOS mode is a mode that allows computers to run files and programs even when they have a shortage of space or memory to do so. And it's also this shit, so that startup page when you accidentally bricked your PC and made it crash, and it's like, hey, do you want to do this safely this time? Maybe don't set off three teratons of TNT in Minecraft this time. You're like, no, fuck you. So you go ahead and you break it again. Yeah, that sh Windows 10 has some components unchanged since Windows 2000. Now, uh, I couldn't really find any concrete evidence for this, but I might not have looked hard enough. I definitely didn't. But it would make sense. If it's not broke, why fix it? Vista Red Screen of Death. The Red Screen of Death was your computer telling you, Hey, bitch, I can't do this shit no more. We done. Go get yourself something new, bro. And then it would die. And this is vaguely what it looked like. Now to level 5. Every second you're not running, I'm only getting closer. MSDOS 7.0 now, MSDOS is similar to DOS mode, but not quite exactly the same, and the 7.0 just means that it's for Windows 7. Really complicated stuff. Con, aux, null. Windows won't let you name files con, aux, or null because there's already files in the system's operating files named those things. Windows XP source code leak. In September of 2020, on top of all the other shit that happened in that actual dumpster fire of a year, the source code to Windows XP was leaked. Now this doesn't really matter because no one should be using Windows XP over six years, seven years now after it was discontinued from support, but some people still are, and now literally everyone can get into your shit. I don't really get what the point of this was because we've moved far from Windows XP, but some people on the internet did it because internet and leaked Windows XP source code. And the reason that this is important is because the source code is the building blocks of the operating system itself. It's like leaking a game engine. Windows Rejected Wallpapers now, every single Windows computer has its own wallpaper before you decide you don't like it and put something else on it. However, some of these just don't make the cut, and with a quick Google search you can wonder, huh, is this a rejected wallpaper, or is this ghost face saluting over the American flag? Windows 11 Terrible Out-of-Box Experience Now, Windows 11 has been leaked and people didn't really like the startup menu for when you have to set it up on a virtual machine, so why would it be any different with a computer actually pre-booted with Windows 11? Pre-booted, not pre-booted. Jesus Christ, you'd think after all of this fucking talking, I'd know how to... 
God gave me depression because he was afraid of what I would do to him if I didn't have it. Unleaked but confirmed builds. Now some builds of Microsoft Windows were never released or stuck in development hell for all of eternity. So while they were confirmed, you will never ever ever see them unless they are leaked or you break into Microsoft and suck Bill Gates' cock. React OS. Now, React OS was kind of hailed as this holy grail open source software to rival Windows in 1996, and as of 2020, it's still a feature incomplete alpha software. So, uh, yeah. This is supposed to be its rivals, the same way that Firefox rivals Chrome as the open source and not going to steal your fucking children from their crib at night. Preferable alternative. But no, React OS is kind of stuck in development hell. Just like literally any game that's a third sequel by v Let's go, full row wipe, starting with conspiracy theories. Bill Gates is Bill Gates, so there's obviously conspiracy theories about Microsoft, so Windows must be shoving popcorn kernels up your ass to spy on your lizards. Unknown code names. Every dev build has a code name, like Longhorn for Vista. However, there's some of them we don't know, which means, oh shit, we can't tell. The end of Windows! Windows was supposed to end with Windows 10, but because Microsoft like money, fuck you. If you're still watching this video, subscribe and I will give you the best head of your life. Let's go on to the final level. Windows Wallpaper Real Locations. Now from Windows XP to Windows 10, and probably Windows 11 for all we fucking know, there have been real locations photographed and represented in wallpapers. And lock screens if you have your computer set up a little weirdly. So where the fuck are all of these things at? Win 8 development wallpapers based off of rejected Win 7 wallpapers. There's really no way to prove this one. It always gets wacky on the last level of the iceberg chart, so whatever. Who is that woman on the Win 10 lock screen? I have no fucking clue, and I'm only being shown hentai when I try to research it, so I guess you're gonna die in the dark too, huh? The Beta Fish. Now, the Beta Fish is a Windows background used for the beta version of Windows 7. If you don't see the humor yet, there's also seven bubbles in this wallpaper, but you may have a hard time seeing it because the wallpaper image that I chose out was a little bit low res. And that does it. The iceberg chart on the most weirdly specific thing I've ever done is finally done. So if you enjoyed learning about Windows operating system, uh, go ahead, throw me a like, comment on the video, subscribe, all that other shit that makes the algorithm stop beating the shit out of my testicles, please, I'm begging you. If you enjoyed the video, do actually subscribe, it's free and it helps me achieve my dreams. I've said this spiel 135 times before by now, but thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful time. Memento Mori.